Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a look at the updates coming to the Hunter Artifact Weapons in the upcoming patch 7.2. 7.2 is expanding our artifacts with new research, new traits, and a new set of appearances. In this video, I'm going to take a look at each of the three Hunter Artifact Weapons to see their new traits and challenge appearances. Every artifact weapon in the game has the same 50-point Paragon trait in 7.2, Concordance of Legionfall. This is what you dump AP into after you've got everything else. It gives your abilities a chance to proc bonus main stat for 10 seconds, with higher points meaning a bigger stat proc. On top of that, there are three cool new traits and one generic one that are specific to each artifact. Let's take a look. All three specs of Hunter start with an unseen path trait, granting 10% damage and stamina. From there, Mark's Hunters will put 4 points into unerring arrows to increase the effect of vulnerability by a total of 40%. Feet of Wind causes your aspect of the Cheetah Sprint to give you an extra 50% chance to dodge and snare immunity, which is a substantial PvP buff. Third, Cyclonic Burst causes the Trail of Wind from your Wind Burst to do damage and slow enemies within it. You basically get to lay down a streak of Cyclone Fire with your arrows, in case you didn't already feel cool enough with your big bow. Speaking of the bow, the challenge appearance as a Marks Hunter is called Wild Runner. I absolutely love this bow, especially for an Elf Hunter. It reminds me of the Resto Druid staff in all of the best ways. Survival Hunters get to spend 4 points on Jaws of the Mongoose, increasing the crit damage of their Mongoose Bite by 20%. Talon Bond causes your pet to instantly attack twice whenever your Talon Strike triggers. For the new Golden Dragon trait, Survival gets Echoes of Onara. Your Flanking Strike will have a 10% chance to summon the Spirit of Onara to smite your foe. From what I recall, Onara was an eagle spirit, so I hope this one has a super cool giant spectral bird animation. The challenge appearance for Talonclaw is called Forest Guardian, and it looks similarly druidy. It's got a big vine wrapped around it and a couple of cute little flowers. BM Hunters get Slithering Serpents, which reduces the cost of Cobra Shot by a total of 8 focus after 4 points. Thunder Slash causes Hattie and your main pet to trigger Thunder Slashes when they auto-attack during your Aspect of the Wild. For the Golden Dragon, Beast Mastery gets to be a Cobra Commander! Your now cheaper Cobra Shot will have a 10% chance to summon 2-4 sneaky snakes to attack your target for 6 seconds. Cause that's what you need, more pets. I sincerely hope that the snakes are literally called sneaky snakes in game because that's just wonderful. The challenge appearance for Titan Strike is called Serpent Bite, and it looks like this. The name pretty much says it all. It almost looks like a pimped out crossbow rather than a gun. To earn the challenge appearance, you'll need to complete the hyper difficult solo challenge coming in 7.2. Your first try is free, but subsequent attempts will consume nether shards, so you want to be really prepared. The challenge will not scale to your gear level, so you can go polish up your item level and come back if it seems impossible. In total, you'll be able to empower your artifact up to 92 traits, which takes over 81 trillion artifact power. To help you get there, you'll be able to collect artifact research up to a new level of 50 for a 55.2 million percent increase of AP gains. A big part of that AP grind is loaded in the last few levels, so the gap between players should be tighter than before. All the artifact power that you've put into your old stacking trait will be refunded, so depending on how close to 54 you were, you'll get a head start in the new traits right away. So, those are the new traits and appearances for Hunter Artifacts. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.